welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. It is Monday, 8th of July today. And here's Enzo. He's now five months old. He's a beefcake. He is not rolling over yet. I think his head's too heavy. Also, if you can hear his breathing. Oh, now you've gone quiet. You'll hear his breathing. He's been like this for basically months. The poor thing, he's been so sick. He's currently on some antibiotics, so hopefully it clears everything up because he's so rattly. That's a whole nother story, isn't it, dude? Yeah? You're probably gonna dribble everywhere on me, aren't you? He's a dribbler. Daisy was never a dribbler. I don't know why he's just a dribbler. So this morning, it's actually a really exciting day. I had my first uh, mother's group. There is a like a local mother's group organized by this wonderful woman, Melissa, who actually we've become friends the last, I don't know, couple of months. You know, I went to ask about a mother's group because they're organized by the local council and I basically got told to join a book club. Um, so, because they don't offer them to second time mums. So, uh, I found Node Mothers and um, I've signed up for this term with Enzo um, and we had our first one this morning. I was like nervous, excited, but it was just really nice. Like everyone there seems so lovely and I'm just so excited to like make some new friends and you know, watch our babies grow together and, and everything like that because I only moved to Ballarat in 2010. So 14 years ago, I don't have original roots like, you know, Dean has, Dean has school friends and things like that. And it's, you know, I, it's hard for me working for myself as well. Like I, it's very hard to make friends. I feel like this would be a good thing for us. Hey Enzo. My life's been a bit crazy the last couple of, I don't know, this whole year really. Something happened with my mum. So she ended up in hospital and um, she's in the process of like recovery for something. So she came home and stayed here for a, a week, I think. And now she's back at home, but it's just, you know, she's not up to doing like everything that she used to do. Um, so that was really hard. It's just, yeah, without me going into too much detail because it's not my story to tell. It really shook me that something could have happened to her and, you know, like I need her around to help me raise my kids because, you know, as much as I love being a mum and everything, I think I know what I'm doing. Like sometimes you just need to talk to your mum and you need, you know, Daisy goes around there every Friday and yeah, she, I don't know. So that, um, putting my family first and like the kids, honestly, the sickness this year, it's just everywhere. Like last week, Daisy had ear infection. He had conjunctivitis, like, and now he's got this rattly chest thing again. And he's just like coughing at night, the poor doll. Just sickness. So we all had COVID a few weeks ago. Didn't know until mum went to hospital and they like tested her and she came up positive. I'm like, oh, well, that's what we had. Like, I only had, so weird, everyone had different symptoms. Like, I only had like a blocked runny nose and apart from that, I was fine. Daisy didn't really had a runny nose. I don't think anything happened. Whereas Dean had like the, she, he was really cold and had like shivers and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have been <laughs> dealing with all of that too. So this week, Dean has um, off of work. Um, he's got some annual leave. Um, hopefully I get a chance to get some things done. I need to do an inventory for Dashmail because I'm thinking that I want to move it on to someone who has the time and the passion for it because I just don't and I feel so guilty for it. But I just, yeah, like I've just put on too many hats and trying to do too much at once and I just need to scale it back if that makes sense. I'm just like the kind of person that wants to jump in and do everything and um, like okay let's take out a few things. See he's breathing he's like so bad. Poor dude. Oh you are so heavy. Beefcake. Anyway I'm just replying to emails. I just uploaded a reel actually of of my first um, mother's group outfit. Um, I have been off socials for a little bit but I need to get back into it it's one of those things like it's easy to get off and then just like not think of it but like it's my job so I need to like, get back into it so um, yeah I just want to get some work done I also I need to figure out what I'm gonna do because I've got so many clothes that I just don't wear and like a lot like brand new with tags or 
never worn or whatever. And I think I'm going to set up a bit on my website where you can shop my closet. Because Depop was just annoying with all of the, the postage and the fees. Whereas this I can just put on the website and then it will calculate postage as well. So it's just listing everything and then weighing it. But I think that I can do that, um, especially with extra time. So I don't know, I've got a lot to do this week and I bet I'll get none of it done. Doing some tummy time. He liked his slug so much that I hung it up. <laughs> and he really likes the Tigger book. Don't you? Your sister had that. Hey, cutie. Cutie patootie. And sometimes he likes this tigger. He grabs a tail. But yeah, no rolling yet. Just lots of drool. Just picked Daisy up from daycare. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> totally forgot I was vlogging today. Um, and I've been doing my inventory. I'm really, really proud that I've done some so far. I don't know how much longer there is to grow. And they had like an hour to do it. But I printed off a list and did that. But let's go home and see and so Daddy. Yay! <laughs> How was your day at daycare, babe? Good. Had a good time? Yeah. Okay, we're home now. So, little update. Here's Penny, Pen Dogs. I where Coco is. She might be on the bed. Here's Enzo, chilling out in his bouncer. He loves his bouncer, doesn't he, Dace? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, Dace, come and show them your hair. So, Daisy requested an Elsa plait today, and I'm getting a lot better at them. But my trick is to like take it on this side, do a little one there. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna make some rissoles and veg for dinner. It's yeah. just after, what is it? Oh, it's 20 to five. So now we just gotta get through the next couple of hours and then the kids will go to bed. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not alone. Did a nice puzzle. These ones are great. They were like a dollar from Kmart. Do you have the box back? They just look like this in the puzzle section and they're a dollar. And yeah, they're really good to do. You love puzzles, don't you, babe? Yeah. Something that we've been doing lately is just meal planning. So writing down the days of the week and then with what we're gonna have for dinner. So I'm just working on this week's. I cheated and put today. <laughs> Monday results. Tuesday. Oh, I bought this. Um, I'll show you. Tuesday. Oh, I bought this fresh pizza dough from Audi. And all you have to do is roll into a bowl, coat with oil, and rest for an hour on a board. And it's pizza dough, but like fresh, obviously fresh pizza dough. <laughs> Haven't tried it yet, so we have to, we have them tomorrow because we are used by 11th of July and it's at 8th. So that'll be interesting. We'll make pizzas tomorrow night, days. No. Yes. You like pizza? What do you want on your pizza? Cheese. That's a good idea. Cheese. <laughs> Anything else? Ham? Yeah. Yeah? Ham and cheese? Pepperoni? No. Nah. No. And Wednesday I've got uh, chili chicken. I make this really yummy chi chili chicken. We actually got the recipe from a HelloFresh thing years ago. Mum, can you buy my name? And then uh, Thursday we're doing slow cooker. So we're going to Melbourne on Thursday to catch up with a friend that I haven't seen in a long time. We've both got kids now, so we'll be gone like most of the day. So I thought I could put a slow cooker on before we go and then don't have to think about dinner. And then Friday I've got a pasta, but whether it be like a bolognese or a chicken pasta. We had chicken pasta last week, so probably a bolognese. I haven't got anything for Saturday. And then Sunday, roast lamb. Monday, next week, chicken sitzels. Tuesday, Kiev's. Wednesday, steak. And that's as far as I've got. But I find it just like, even if you don't stick to it 100%, it helps so much with like shopping and, you know, having the food there ready to cook. We've also been buying a little bit of meat in bulk and putting it in the freezer, especially from Costco. So that has been helping with our being organized. Dean's done a fab job at the rissoles. I just added in like all my spices and everything and then Dean mixed it up. I've got some veggies going on here and we're gonna actually have gravy with them. So, hence the other pot.
So I'm signed up to Woolworths Rewards and they had to get these free as like a bonus one month. So we're going to try them today. I've not tried these before. They look so cute. And Daisy's just in the bath and yeah, we put, we put Enzo to bed pretty early. He usually baths at like 5.30 and then we put him down straight after that, like give him a bottle and put him to bed. Um, then the rest of the night is just time to either like scroll on TikTok or I have been watching Grey's Anatomy but I'm trying to watch the latest season of Love Island but I just haven't got into it like I have past seasons I think because a lot of the girls look very similar and I couldn't tell the difference and I was just getting confused and then spending more time on my phone so I kind of gave up it's seven o'clock at the moment nearly free time okay 35 minutes in the oven sorry I already crushed all of mine up but anyway and um what's also the deal about this not being ice cream anymore like you can't even get ice cream so whatever <laughs> hopefully it's good just finished it was pretty good i don't like apple pie isn't my favorite but yeah it was not too bad um, ice cream i don't know i heard that some people said that it had changed and it tastes different but it just tasted the same to me oh here's coco here she is uh, in other news, I have been converted to subtitles. I've reached that age, that millennial status. <laughs> and this Love Island doesn't have subtitles. And I'm like, how am I gonna understand it or watch it? Like, what do you reckon, Cokes? So maybe that's one of the reasons why I can't get into it because I can't hear what they're saying. <laughs> Cokes. She was hobbling around today. I think we should give her, we got some like pain relief from the um, vet because she has like, uh, she's getting arthritis. So I think we should give her some pain relief because she was hobbling around. You want some, some pain relief? It'll probably make you high. Okay, there's a little vlog for today. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.